I made a video whenever I got this neck piece. I figured it'd only be appropriate that I made a YouTube video for getting my whole neck completed. It appears like I have my whole neck tattooed. I don't. There's a whole back area that I never see that I forget about. And today is the day that I'm going to try and do something about that. I have been getting a tattoo in every country that I travel to for the past few years now, and I have a whole leg full of my passport stamps. So Victoria Rose travels the world, and instead of getting souvenirs, she gets a tattoo in every country she visits. For me personally, it's just decoration. Yeah. I just like to be creative and express, but um, I'm not, I, don't, I don't take it too seriously. I've never gotten one in my home state of Pennsylvania. I've never gotten a tattoo here. Um, so I'm gonna do that today. I'm really, I'm, I'm nervous. Like I'm just, I'm really anxious today. I don't know what, where this anxiety keeps coming from for, for the past week. It's not to do with the tattoo. It's just, I'm gonna drive to Pittsburgh and Yuki. Hopefully she makes it. And we're gonna see what happens. I have no design plan yet. So with this neck piece, it's just something that I feel like is unfinished. And it, I just want things to look more organized and put together, which a, a lot of my tattoos don't really, so it bothers me sometimes. So if I do get any other tattoos, it's just gonna try, just gonna try to like make it more cohesive. And that's what I'm gonna do here. And I'm, um, I never see the back of my neck. So I have a dinosaur that I completely forgot about. <laughs> I was taking pictures for the tattoo artist. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot that that was there. <laughs> But um, I kind of want to cover it up because I think it'll look weird, but I don't know what's going to happen. So we're going to do that. It's been exactly a year today that I got Yuki. Exactly a year. And I need to get her reinspected, get her in alignment, and just, you know, fix up things before I go again. And I'm, I'm thinking of a trip in my head. I'm not going to say it yet, but this will just hold us over until then. Um, I know I haven't been posting as consistently like week to week like I normally do, but I will get back to that. Right now, we're just kind of in a transition. And you know, I kind of do this every winter. I kind of like fall off for a second, but hopefully next year it'll be better. I'm happy to report though, that we did fix the leak and the battery issue for my new solar panel that I put up here. The problem was the screws just needed tightened a little bit more. My dad didn't want to tighten them too much before because he didn't want to strip it out, but we tightened it and it completely solved the problem. And the battery, I realized, <laughs> some people gave suggestions it was because it was too cold for the battery to charge it wasn't that the solar wasn't working it was that the battery wasn't working but i took it inside warmed it up and it started working again and it charged and so everything works and it worked out in the end okay so i'm here at the tattoo shop and we're getting started we have to draw everything on first and um yeah, it has to be very, very customized to my neck. So I'll put the link below of this tattoo shop if you guys are in the Pittsburgh area. So I put some, we put numbing cream on. Just, I'm just gonna do this once, just to see, you know, new experience. And we're just gonna let that set for a second. And we made the design and I'm really excited about it. It looks really cool. We combined a bunch of different elements that I really like. And um, now we just gotta do it. So this tattoo took around four to five hours and I got through it all right only because he was nice enough to give me a lot of Bactine spray, which is kind of like a, a numbing spray. I didn't think my back would be so painful and sensitive as it was because I've gotten a lot of tattoos and I wouldn't think the back would be painful, but I think without the Bactine spray, I would be in so much pain. <laughs>
tattoo. I just kind of rested yesterday after it. Lately, whenever I get tattoos, I put second skin on, which is really nice because then you don't have to like do anything to the tattoo after you get it and nothing like rubs on it. I ordered some more second skin, but it's gonna get here too late, so I just need to keep the one on that I have. You can leave these things on for up to seven days. But this is what it looks like today. It's not looking so beautiful, is it? It's not bad. And it's tender, but I like it. I'm very pleased with how it turned out. I'm very grateful for the tattoo artist. It was very difficult to find one around me that could do good geometric work. I made a video whenever I got this neck piece, which was a long time ago now. This is like when I first started YouTube. So I figured it'd only be appropriate that I made a YouTube video for getting my whole neck completed, which there's still some things I want to do. I still want to cover up the lightning bolt. I want to put lines down where these don't connect and maybe like go like this. I think that would look kind of cool in the future. So I don't even know if you guys are interested in tattoo stuff. I'll update you whenever I take this stuff off and we'll, we'll see what it looks like after that if you're interested. So I'm gonna wrap this video up, not with this stuff, with a little story time. Last night I took the second skin layer off and I've never had th that sanoderm on a, a large piece as my neck tattoo. And I had it on for like four, four or five days and I'm like, it started itching really bad and my neck was really tight. It's supposed to be on for seven days and I should have left it on for that long. So if this is a lesson to anybody about wrapping a large piece like this, don't take it off prematurely if you don't have to, because oh my goodness, I traumatized myself. I'm like at nighttime, I couldn't sleep because it was so unbearably itchy. I'm like, I'm just gonna get a shower. Whenever you take up off this stuff, you need to do it under like warm water with oil or something. Um, but I got in the shower, let the warm water get into it. And then I started peeling it off and I realized this is gonna take a really long time. I could feel it peeling off my scabs. I already started so I couldn't stop. And I have this thing where if I'm hurting, if I'm, like, I'm hurting myself, like, and I know that I am, or if I see other people like bleeding or, or, or a hurt, I get really, really queasy. And this is the closest I've ever gotten to passing out. So I was just like in the shower and like my world just like went completely dizzy. I'm just like holding onto the shower wall while I'm pull pulling this off, which as you can see is incredibly sticky. You can also see all the skin that I pulled off. It's really gross. Like, but this was covering my whole back. Psychologically, I, just, I couldn't handle it. I couldn't take it. I'm not a very strong person in that regard. Well, it was painful because, like I said, this is a very large piece and there's a lot coming off. So I had to like crawl out of the shower and sit on the floor all naked and vulnerable. My hearing went out. I couldn't even hear anymore. I had to still get it off, so I went in another time and did it again. Yeah, I almost vomited my guts out. But that's the story of me taking that off. It's usually not like that with small pieces. It's easy, it's, you know, it's like a band-aid but because it was so big and so stuck on there and it's still really sticky and I'm going to show you. So I did pull my scabs off. I'm really hoping that this doesn't affect the tattoo too much. It will probably fade some of those areas more because that's what happens when you prematurely um, have the scabs come off. Anyways, that is my tattoo story. I have made a decision what I'm going to be doing with Yuki and traveling and all that. Um, it's going to be a big adventure, so stay tuned for that. Leave some comments below. I'd like to respond to you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Stay extraterrestrial.